Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I share monthly reviews on products curated by Beauty Heroes, which is a subscription-based service that highlights one full-size product a month. And this product is always cleanly formulated and free of any nasty chemicals. That full-size product is referred to as the Hero product, and it's always accompanied by a sidekick, which is an extra something, usually in like a deluxe sample size or a travel size from the featured brand. So this month's selection features Josh Rosebrook, which just happens to be one of my favorite brands. This month's Hero product is Josh Rosebrook's Nutrient Day Cream SPF 30, and it's in this new packaging that he has revealed exclusively through Beauty Heroes. On the packaging, it says that Nutrient Day Cream is a powerful facial moisturizer and natural sunscreen, offering a potent combination of distinct herbs and rich plant oils to fully moisturize and protect the skin. It finishes smooth and matte without a white cast. This is suitable for all skin types, including sensitive and acne conditions. The sidekick this month is the Vital Balm Cream, and this is in a special travel size just for the Beauty Heroes community. Josh describes the Vital Balm Cream as a uniquely effective moisturizer that combines the occlusive benefits of a balm with the absorption and luxury finish of a cream. It's designed to support skin regeneration and restores the skin's ability to hold moisture and helps slow skin decline and he recommends it for normal to dry skin. So I was introduced to Josh Rosebrook's products back in November 2016 when Beauty Heroes featured them. And the Hero product in November was his Cacao Antioxidant Mask, which I don't have with me because I finished it up and I, you guys know I absolutely love that mask. And the sidekick that month was the Hydrating Accelerator and this is like a toning mist and this is the size that it came in. This is two fluid ounces. Um, I fell in love with this after that month's discovery and I went ahead and purchased two full-size bottles. The reason I even have any in here is because um, when I was traveling, I took some of the product from the full size and I transferred it over to this travel friendly one. So that's why I still have product in here, but I absolutely love this. So to share a little bit more about Josh Rosebrook, I know that he started out as a hairstylist in California, but I think now he's more notably known for his like holistic skincare and hair care line. So back in November when I was learning more about him, I think what happened was as he was a hairstylist, um, he was going through some skin conditions. I forget if it was acne or inflammation but he started like concocting um, products to soothe his own skin condition and then he'd go to work and his clients would ask him what he was doing to his skin and so I think he started um, creating like products in small batches for them and I think that's how he got started if I remember correctly and based on this handout here it says that um, he delivers high quality products that support the skin by first addressing the root cause of aging which is inflammation he works with a team of phytochemists and herbalists who understand the power of plants to return the body to state of optimal balance his line is unisex and it transcends all skin types age and gender I've now tried six products from his line, five of which are skincare and one being a hair care product. So I've tried the Cacao Antioxidant Mask, which I loved, um, the Hydrating Accelerator, the Toning Mist, and I currently own the Styling Cream in the Medium Hold, and that is the only um, hair product that I use when I curl my hair with a wand. It doesn't have a super strong hold, which is what I was looking for, because I found that um, the times that I do curl my hair, if I put in products um, it makes the curls fall out like my hair doesn't hold curls very well and I found that that's the only one that gives me a little bit of like a textured grip without being crunchy or heavy I've had that for a few months now and I've barely made a dent in it because I just really don't use very much and then what else um, I've tried uh, the Vital Balm Cream, which is the Sidekick product this month, but I actually got a sample of it a few months back. And then I've also tried um, his Advanced Hydrating Mask and now the Nutrient Day Cream. So as for my experience with this month's Hero product, the Nutrient Day Cream is one that I have been wanting to try for months. Um, and I kept going back and forth in my head about whether I wanted to try this one or his tinted version. And I know that the tinted version, I believe it only comes in one shade and it's not supposed to be makeup or anything because I did hear that the coverage is like pretty sheer. 
and I know that if you um, if I were to use a day cream that doesn't have color in it it gives me a little bit more room to you know put on foundation or yeah just add color if I wanted to so um, when Jeannie told me that this was going to be one of the products this year I was so excited my biggest reason for not purchasing this in the past was definitely the price point now it comes in two different sizes the one fluid ounce costs $55 and then the two fluid ounce which is what you get with Beauty Heroes this month this costs $85 I already had a moisturizer that I was using that I liked and then this sunscreen the Kula sunscreen that I've been pretty loyal to for like two years now and so I wasn't in a hurry to pick this up so I'm really really happy that I got to test this out this month so the sunscreen ingredient in here is zinc oxide more specifically it's 12% um, non nano micronized zinc oxide which I don't fully understand what that means but apparently it's the safest physical sunscreen which is great for me because I'm allergic to chemical sunscreens this is what I have been using for the last two years and I've been getting a lot of questions about sunscreen but the thing that I wanted to point out is Kula has different versions of their sunscreen and I really like this one because it is a very moussey texture with a matte finish and I originally looked into the unscented version but the unscented version has a chemical sunscreen as their active ingredient so I've, have, I've been using the um, mineral sunscreen in the cucumber matte finish because the cucumber matte finish i believe has either zinc oh no it has titanium dioxide and zinc oxide which is totally works with my skin so yeah this contains titanium and zinc the josh rosebrook nutrient day cream contains 12 percent zinc oxide okay as with all josh rosebrook products he always has like a ton of ingredients um, most if not all are okay I think all of them are certified organic they're wild crafted and non GMO plant sourced so I'm not gonna read all the ingredients for you obviously but I will leave a link down below if you wanted to go and check out the ingredient list but even his the superpower list is pretty extensive so there's aloe vera alfalfa bilberry borage oil broccoli burdock root um, calendula, chamomile, dandelion, green tea, hemp oil, jojoba oil, neem, rosehip, sea buckthorn, and St. John's wort. So those are just like the highlighted ones. So it's like really, really, really packed with some good stuff. So the way that I use it is in the mornings after cleansing my face, I pat it dry with a washcloth and then I take like three or four drops of Stark Skin Care's City Recalibrating Oil and then I pat that onto my face and about like 30 seconds to a minute later, I'll take a few pumps of the day cream and then I will just smooth it over my face. So something I wanted to point out is with this packaging, I noticed that one pump, it really dispenses a pretty small amount of product now because I didn't own the day cream in the previous packaging like I don't know um, how it compares but based on the reviews I've seen it looks like the old packaging dispensed more product now I don't know if he purposely designed it um, designed this bottle to dispense so little or if maybe I have a faulty pump I'm not sure yeah on his box it says to apply three to four pumps which seems like a really small amount um, so I think I use between four to five pumps but yeah if you guys receive this box I'd love to know if your pump also dispenses like very very little I'm very curious about that and I think the only con that I can point out about this packaging I mean I love that it's glass but because it is opaque you can't really tell how much product you have left but I imagine when I um, you know don't have much left I probably just unscrew it and then just tap it out into my palm it's not a big deal um, given like how much I love the formula so that's just something to note so I have a bunch of reasons for why I'm so impressed with this formula and the first one being that I think it's just so perfect for every day and honestly I just don't get that much sun exposure um, on a day-to-day -day basis um, probably the most is like while I'm driving and I drive like anywhere between like an hour um, a few times a week to go um, back and forth from work 
and let's see when i'm filming and i'm in front of a window like i'm not in direct sunlight yeah i guess that's about it i don't like go out and spend too much time in the sun i guess like my five minute walks to the gym like i'll get a little bit of sun but yeah, that's like my day to day. I love how lightweight it is, but it's still moisturizing enough that I can use it alone. And when I first pumped it out, before I even tried it on my face, I was looking at the formula and I was a bit worried that maybe it wouldn't be moisturizing enough because I do have combo skin where my cheeks tend to get drier and then I'll have you know, depending on how humid it is, um, I could have a shiny T-zone. Yeah, I love that I can wear this and this alone. I don't feel the need to layer anything on top of it. Another reason that I love this day cream is that it wears beautifully under makeup. Like, I'm wearing it today and... It does say that there's a matte finish, even though like when you first apply it on your hands, you might think that it's not matte. And because I went from a truly matte sunscreen, here, let me just show you the Kula one. It's moussey, and then it does have a matte finish, but you do have to spend time sort of blending it in. But it's really not as bad as some other sunscreens that I've used in the past. So to me, like this is truly matte. And I wasn't expecting the Nutrient Day Cream to be so matte, but like, yeah, my face doesn't look sh overly shiny in any way, and I just really, really love um, how my makeup looks on top of it. I really love that there is no white cast. Like, you don't even have to spend time, like, working it in or blending it in too hard. Like, you would blend it in just as you would a normal moisturizer, and I really love that because as much as I love the Kula, it does take slightly more work to blend in than the um, Josh Roseberg day cream does and this isn't something that I can use by itself like I definitely have to moisturize underneath before applying this just for comparison's sake I also brought over the other uh, facial sunscreen that I own and this is the Suntegrity natural moisturizing face sunscreen and primer this is also SPF 30 um, so is the Kula so all of my sunscreens uh, face sunscreens are SPF 30 now with this one, um, it's very, it, it says primer on here, but like I've tried to wear this under makeup and I feel like this one is the most traditional sunscreen, like traditional feeling sunscreen in terms of formula. You definitely have to work this in and even um, after you blend it, like you still see a white cast and I, I personally, I don't like that. The Suntegrity smells amazing. I really like it. Um, so for the Suntegrity, I don't like to use this every day, but um, this is the perfect face sunscreen for me um, like when I'm at the beach. And I brought this with me along with the Suntegrity body sunscreen. I brought both of those along with me to the Philippines and I used this every day for two weeks. I was at the beach almost every single day and I did not burn once. In fact, I still got a little bit of a tan. Yeah, I actually just tanned really nicely without burning at all I didn't go through any kind of peeling so I would recommend this for like beach wear and also when I was going to the beach I wasn't wearing makeup so it was easy to continue to reapply this and then I love the Suntegrity body sunscreen um, I traveled with the smaller I think it was a three fluid ounce and I finished up most of it in the Philippines, but like the remaining uh, product that I had, I just gave it to my sister so she could use it up. And then I actually went ahead and purchased the five ounce um, body sunscreen that I haven't even broken into yet. So I would recommend this more for like the beach, but not every day. So going back to Josh Rosebrook's Nutrient Day Cream, like I love that I don't have to think about it when I apply this. I also really enjoy the scent of this product. To me, it has like a very subtle sweetness. It reminds me of marshmallows. It really does smell like slightly like marshmallows, but it's not like an over powerful um, scent that will just bother you all day long. In fact, when I apply it in the mornings, I really enjoy the experience of it. And then I don't think I really smell it on myself um, for the rest of the day. So yes, I highly recommend this product, um, especially with uh, Beauty Heroes this month because this is expensive stuff. <laughs> So moving on to the sidekick, I previously owned the Vital Balm Cream um, because a few months ago when I placed an order on Beauty Heroes, this along with his Advanced Hydration Mask, those two were the Love More promotions. And the Love More promotion is if you spend um, $125 or more at the online beauty store at beautyheroes.com, 
you get a deluxe sized sample and it's a gift with purchase basically but yeah i forget which month um but it's like shortly after i think he formulated this it might have even been before um, these products were released on his website but yeah i got two samples of the vital balm cream and the advanced hydration mask so when i received this months ago i used it once or twice and then i kind of forgot about it because i was really into my other skincare products um, and then when i found out that the vital balm cream is the sidekick product this month i figured you know i should probably use this one up um, in case like I don't love it then that way the sidekick um, will be untouched and if I wanted to gift it I could so the sample that I had this is um, doesn't say how much but yeah, it came in a plastic container it looks like that and then the sidekick this one comes in a glass container and look they look kind of different and i wonder if it's because i dipped into this and like maybe my bathroom was it's warm in there so it kind of this one definitely looks more like a cream than this one this one definitely looks more like a balm to be honest with you when i first tried this it wasn't very memorable for me like it didn't really leave an impression on my mind and i say that because i don't even remember my initial thoughts about it it was just like okay like i'll try it out and then i didn't reach for it again so I figured, you know, I would try it again f um, to review for this video. You know, I'm thinking now, like as I'm sniffing it, I think I initially, I wasn't crazy about the scent. Yeah, I think the scent definitely contributed to me not reaching for it. I'm still not crazy about the scent of this, but it doesn't bother me anymore just because I love the way that this performs on my skin. So how I like to use it is in the evenings after I cleanse my face, um, I pat it dry with a washcloth and then I mist the hydrating accelerator. And after this is um, pretty much sunk in, not like complete, I don't wait until my face is like completely dry. Um, yeah, so after that sets in, I will take about a pea sized amount of this and then just smooth it over my skin. So when you first apply this, it does feel a little bit tacky on the skin. It is very different from the other face balms that I use because the other balms that I have, um, you just kind of take a little bit and then you warm it into your hands and it almost feels like you're applying like an oil on your face. But yeah, this one does have slightly it does have a slightly um, tacky finish. I waited about like 10-15 minutes so I got into bed and I remember like touching my face to see if it still was tacky because one of the things that I absolutely, it's like a pet peeve for me is if like my hair sticks to my face because of a face product that I'm wearing. But honestly after 10-15 minutes when I was touching my face like it didn't feel tacky anymore. So that was a non-issue for me at that point. But after applying this like i would sleep with it and then the next morning my skin would just be like so plump like you know i i always tell you guys that i'm not good about drinking water but when i wake up it it feels like what i would imagine my skin to look like if i was just staying like perfectly hydrated all day long so not only is my skin really really plump it just looks so even toned and i didn't even know um like what this was really designed to do until like just now because <laughs> I didn't really read up on it when I received this product this month but it did say that it's supposed to calm redness and allow skin to restore and regenerate and I feel like it actually does that yeah so the nights that I use this like I pay I've been paying extra um, close attention to my skin and there is something very noticeably different um, to the point where when I wear this the night before the next morning like I won't even wash my face before I go to the gym because I feel like my skin just looks so even like almost like I woke up wearing my glossy skin tint it's so weird I do want to factor in the fact that my skin has been behaving better lately because of my like um, cutting out like sugar flour and alcohol and not eating those as often and also I know that I my skin has made like major improvements after um, doing that as well as using my stark skincare products so I think that like already um, set me on the path to like better skin so I I'm very impressed by this I'm actually kind of in shock as I'm talking about it because just to think that this was in my medicine cabinet this whole time and it was like a treasure that was like tucked away and I completely forgot about it and now I'm like what like I would 
totally um, purchased this with my own money. Right now, I am rotating three products in the evenings. The Vital Balm Cream, the Stark Skin Care Aurora, Bar Aurora Balm, and uh, Mahalo's Rare Indigo Balm. So I'm almost out of my Mahalo Rare Indigo Balm, but I would purchase this in a heartbeat over the Rare Indigo. And that's saying a lot because I really liked that product as well. So I plan to rotate those three products in the evenings and I'm really excited to see how this will perform for me in the winter because even even though it's summer, this is another strange thing. Like it's super humid in Korea and I don't need as much hydration as I would in the winter. But even um, given that, like I really enjoyed this. I didn't feel like it was heavy. Like I didn't get any clogged pores from this, which was another um, shock to me because yeah, that's what I was afraid of. But yeah, like I, I absolutely love this. I don't know if, um, if you have super oily skin, how you would like it. I believe he recommends it for, yeah, normal to dry skin. So I would say that if you have oily skin and you receive this box, like if you're already a Beauty Heroes member, maybe just use it um, to spot treat. Like if you do have any dry spots or maybe um, you can use it as like an eye cream or something. Yeah, or maybe just hold off. Hold off uh, using this until like the cooler months. So the total value of this box is $115, but as a Beauty Heroes member, you can pick up this selection for $39. It actually comes out to a little less than that if you're in the States. Um, it's like $38 and change, which I think is such a great deal for what you get. Like, I mean, this moisturizer alone costs $85, which is insane, and I'm so impressed by this month's selection. If you do want to pick up this box, uh, you do have to sign up before july 20th and i will have links down below if you guys want to go check it out like read up on the ingredient list and all of that and you do have to sign up for a minimum of three months if you want to become a beauty heroes member so the last thing i wanted to mention is this month's love more promotion and the love more promotion is the gift with purchase that you receive um, if you spend 125 dollars or more at the online beauty store and this month's love more promotion is the cleopatra restorative milk and honey mask from lil fox this was also a sidekick product a few months ago and i love this mask so I already used up all of it and when I was nearing the end, I placed an order for the full size. The full size is um, 3.4 fluid ounces. It comes in this box. I haven't even opened it yet, but yeah, it's a powdered mask. I love this. I like to use it alone by mixing it in with water, but I found out that I love it even more when I mix this in with um, Lil Fox's Jungle Glow Mask, which is like a honey-based mask so good my skin feels amazing after but yeah i think um if you guys have any uh, beauty products that you want to stock up on like i think this month's love more promotion is totally worth it like what i like to do is um if i do need products like um i will save up like my cart until i reach like 125 dollars, and then depending on what the love more is like i'll place an order that month or not but yeah, I will, probably won't be needing any products anytime soon. My last big order was I ordered like six uh, tubes of David's Natural Toothpaste, which we actually needed and we're like set for the rest of this year. So yeah, anyway, I just wanted to bring that up because this is one of my favorite masks. So I think that wraps up this video. I hope you found this review helpful. Um, let me know down below if you guys have any questions or comments. And yeah, I'd love to know um, what your pump situation is like if you receive this month's box. I'd love to know if it's just like mine's acting funny or if yours is dispensing the same amount of product. So yeah, let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!